Okay, I'm excited to show you this video because I think it's time people really understand how to sight with speed, maintaining that rhythm of the stroke. So whether you breathe or you don't breathe or you sight, you should be able to maintain the same speed. Now, as you can see in this video, when I sight, I glide up to two meters. And anybody who subscribed to my online system, Ocean Walker Vimeo, you'll know how to do that. So through the roll, kick and pull. So we get that big glide up to two meters and that shouldn't change just because we're sighting. So what happens when people sight and they lose rhythm? Well, before creating the Ocean Walker technique, I used to swim very flat. And every time I sighted, I would lose my rhythm and pace, would slow down. And I wondered why that would happen. So I'm going to look at what I did before and how it's improved in order to get this big glide, maintain the pace and keep the rhythm of the stroke. So things to avoid. Okay, number one. When you sight, don't lift your head too high. So we think we need to really strain our head out the water to see what's in front of us, whether we're looking for the boys in a race or other competitors or just to see where we're going. We have that look and a lot of us lift our head way too high. Now, by lifting your head way too high, your hips are almost definitely going to drop because the head is the heaviest part of the body. So it's physics that if the head is lifted too high, the back end wants to drop. Think of scales. You're also going to strain your neck as a result of that. If you really ostrich your neck out the water, that's going to hurt your neck as well, potentially. So we don't want to do that. And we certainly don't want to be breathing and sighting at the same time, because if your mouth is clearing the water, then you've definitely lifted your head too high. As I say, the hips are going to drop. And remember, every inch that your hips are down is resistance and drag. The higher the hips, the less drag. So our goal is to sight with our hips as high as possible, maintaining the rhythm of the stroke. So we don't want to strain that neck. And as I say, we don't want to breathe in sight. Also watch that when you do sight, you don't lift that recovery arm too high out the water because what we can tend to do is as we lift our head up, the arm wants to go way high over the top. And as we know, we want to keep that semicircle sweep to stop injuries happening with that recovery arm and make it as effortless as possible. So just watch that recovery arm stays as low as possible as well. The other thing that can happen when we sight is we lose balance. So we lift up our front arm in the water goes across the center line and it causes an imbalance and our head goes to one side. So we don't actually sight straight, we actually angle our head and that hinders us to see what's in front of us. In this video, you can see the sort of pace that you can maintain as a result of getting the rhythm right with a roll, kick and pull. And as I say, to remind you, if you want to learn this from step to step, I've got over 19 videos now which you can follow on Ocean Walker Vimeo, which will show you how to do this. But the rhythm stays the same. Okay, so what should we do? So the reason that I get this rhythm here and I don't slow down is because I take a quick look, my eyes just do enough to clear the water, I breathe separately to the side, so here I'm sighting every two, breathing every two, something like that, that's what you can practice, and what I do is my arm under water, I make sure that that's not too high, because if it's too high I'm going to press water down, which is going to really launch me out the water, and as I say, if I bring my head too high, the hips are going to drop, and that's going to be resistant and drag. The other thing that I'm doing, you can see, is I hold my recovery arm. So the front arm is held in position as I take that glide. Because I rotate from side to side, creating that momentum and glide, then what I want to do is hold that position and maximize that glide. And the only way I can do it is having that front arm. So the only way I can stay on my side is having that front arm held in place. And the only way I really maximize that glide is having that front arm in place. If I drop that front arm too early, then I'm going to lose any momentum I've created. And the arm on top of the water is going to come crashing down. And it's just not going to have any glide at all. And I'm going to, as I say, lose the rhythm. So it's important that I maintain that front arm, which I do in the ocean walker technique. I don't drop it 
so my arm on top crashes down and I keep that nice rhythm. Now when I sight, I don't actually lift my head. I know my head comes out here, but I don't actually lift it. I don't sort of strain my neck out. What I do is when I pull back, I push my chest up. So I really get the sense of pushing my chest up. And obviously my head is on my shoulders, so my eyes are going to clear the water. What I don't do is independently lift my head because I know my hips will drop. So when I take the roll, kick and pull in the ocean walker technique, I kick... And I, pull, and I feel my hips coming up as my chest comes up. So my, I pull my chest up, my hips come up as well. I visualize that. I take a quick look and now I'm back into the stroke. And again, you can learn the stroke on Ocean Walker Vimeo. But what I don't do is really launch myself out the water too high because I know if I go too high and my head comes up, then the, the scales, the, the tipping of the scales is going to bring my hips down. So that's really important. The other thing that I do is when I do take the glide, I make sure that front arm is out of the eye line, so not across the middle. Now, when you come up to sight, it's going to want to come across the middle. It's, want to, it's going to want to drop you off balance. You've really got to visualize, and here, as you can see with my left arm, I'm really visualizing it being wider, so I'm exaggerating on my mind to go sort of 10 o'clock on a clock. The reason for that is because my arm will want to come across the center, so in your mind, sort of exaggerate it a little bit. The other thing that I do is when I'm pulling back, that arm, that left arm in the water, um, uh, sorry, the right arm as I take a pull, that is deeper. So it's around about 40, 45 degrees that I pull water back because when you do lift up, what's going to want to happen is your arms, the arm underwater is going to want to rise up towards the surface. And then the problem is that when you do take the pull, you're going to want to push water down. So you want to take it to that angle of 40, 45 degrees in order to pull water back to get your chest out of the water. But as I say, the minute you, you do sight, everything's going to want to come upwards. So you've got to keep that front arm deeper in order to help you for that pull. Again, that's something really, really important because remember... We only go forward in swimming by pushing water back, not by pushing water down. So here you can see the left arm goes and takes that glide. I make sure that I have a bit of depth and really point it downwards. But that's also to do with getting that right angle with your semicircle sweep, making sure the wrist points downwards and it's not too high. Again, all these things you can learn on Ocean Walker Vimeo. So check it out. You just have to Google Ocean Walker Vimeo to subscribe and you'll get... Um, unlimited access to my videos and I take you through a process which is going to show you how to do the stroke and how you move on to sighting. When you practice sighting I suggest that you breathe every two, sight every two and then you can increase it if you like. You can breathe every four and then sight every two, something like that and then you know breathe every you know every two, every two, every two so you've breathed six times then sight so you sort of build up towards it. But you want to keep your head raised straight. Now, when you do sight and have that quick look up with your goggles, get your head back to neutral again. Because remember, in the ocean walker technique, we swim with our eyes looking down. So you want to be looking straight down after you've taken that sight. So you look forward, then straight back down again. Protect that neck. What you don't want to do is look forward, and then as your head goes down, still look forward, because that will strain the neck. Okay, so there's a lot of information there. Again, you know, if you want to go through this system, have a look at Ocean Walker Vimeo. It's really going to help you out. I hope this helps you. I've packed in a lot of information, but I wanted to help you.